I never got really strongly into horror films. I actually, growing up, was more into horror video games because the interactive um, quality of it frightened me more. Um, horror films for me, I would you know watch in the middle of the night and so try and be scared. I remember watching The Exorcist late one night and I was like ready and I was ready to be scared. And the whole time, I just kind of wanted to be in it. <laughs> like I kind of wanted to be there and be on set and be acting in it. The Chucky franchise, well the first one came out when I was born um, in 1988. And I watched that, most recent experience anyway, was I went back and I watched Child's Play. And they did such a great job of maintaining this tension and the slow shots and the slow move in. That was that was really just amazing to me. It wasn't it wasn't bells and whistles. It was it was like an actual tension, an actual visceral tension. That to me is more frightening than the gore. The gore definitely has, you know, a um, gut wrenching kind of like oh god, oh god. But you have to look back because it's like a train. It's so terrible, but I have to see it. Um, versus frightening is that slow, 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 bam. That's what scares me. Jill is the nanny of Alice for Ian and Barb. Um, she is she's a good-hearted person, and she's kind of thrust into this family crisis. Um, and she, she kind of gets caught in the middle of it, and she's kind of an outsider from this family. I mean, other than being their nanny, um, you know, she's not a part of the family, so she's, she's kind of... Yeah, she's kind of the outsider to what's going on, um, which, which I think makes her a little bit uncomfortable, as it would anybody. The role is very real. You know, the way Dawn's written it, it's very, it's very real and it's very relatable, um, which is so great, which is so nice to see, you know, with characters within a horror genre. And, and the script, too, and in the, the Curse of Chucky project, it's, it's, um, it is very real. It's like it could be anybody's situation other than the killer doll part and it's it was such a great script I remember reading it and it was so good and it was scary and it was you know these shots and imagining this coming to life it was it's it's dark and it's and it's frightening I'd say it gets pretty violent uh, definitely I don't know how much I can say but I think this movie gets pretty violent I think horror films are one of the most challenging genres for an actor. Um, you have to go through such a range of emotions and believe so many unbelievable things uh, that I think I think they're great, you know? I think like as an actor it's such a great thing to be a part of and, and uh, to stretch yourself. So I'd be looking forward to doing another horror film. I am, I am feeling a lot of pressure for this film. Um, it's definitely one of, well, is the biggest feature of my career. Not only that, but it has such, this film has such a strong fan base, you know, that I, I just, as an actor, so badly you want to deliver to these fans and give them what they want to see. And you just hope that after everything is said and done and you do everything you can do and, and that they're, you know, that they're going to like it and that they're going to see that, you know, that they're going to be involved in the story is all I can really ask. The first record I purchased with my own money, let's see, was, was Ace of Base. I saw the sun. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was Ace of Base. I so wish I could be like, it was Bob Dylan, but it was, it was totally Ace of Base. And I think after that it was like Spice Girls.